Hi, I'm Robbie Williams best mate. When I'm not delving into sordid and quite frankly disturbing tweets for Twitter's most wacky and insane tweets, or wanking off Robbie and straight on straight action, I'm studying the naughty's greatest stars, so without further ado, here are just some of the greats that grace tower television, newspapers, and magazines that you probably forgotten about or haven't even heard of. Thank God somebody's debunking the establishment on every level. Rebecca Luce was the nanny of the Beckham family when she came into the limelight after telling the newspapers that David made her scream for his cream back in 2004. Since then this starlet went on to bigger and better things. So I like Bob. <laughs> It wasn't until a year later when Rebecca won the hearts of the nation, when she went on Channel 5 game show The Farm and whacked off a pig. Showing guts, determination, and the will to succeed, she polished that pig's now until it couldn't take much more. That's my special touch. <laughs> oh, I didn't think he'd be coming for that long. <laughs> my arm's aching a bit. <laughs> Truly lovely person, which to me is always my favorite. Oh, and I have such for her. Rebecca may have buggered off to Norway, but her star will always shine here in the UK. No matter where you are in the world, do not hesitate to get in touch when you're ready to begin your journey to creating more success, happiness and fulfillment in your life. When Fran Cosgrave arrived on the scene, he was a huge hit with the ladies. Especially the ginger one from Atomic Kitten in 2002. But he moved on to more experienced Fanny from the likes of Jody Marsh and Del Crawforth, whoever that is. You know, he's, a, he's an amazing man and, and such a talent. The guy is probably one of the most honest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, one of the most hardest working people I've ever known in my life. And After competing on the likes of Celebrity Love Island and I'm a celebrity get me out of here, Fran did a now legendary show with his best pals Callum Best and Paul Don and called Callum Fran and Dangerous Danon, which was a huge hit in the UK. What they did together is, is just stupendous. The fact that they could uh, keep up with everything. They didn't just do their own thing, which was one avenue. Since leaving the limelight some years ago, Fran has become a live coach and a DJ. He even has his fans such as the Queen of R&B Rihanna. An artist of class, and I knew if he sent me a record, there, there must be something to it. I sure wish that he was still with us. We all do Stone Cold. We all do. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Be sure to tune in next time to see a forgotten Z-list celebrity from 2000 to 2010. To Dalu for now.